Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you uh, and, and compare this uh, new battery pack that I built of lithium ion batteries. Uh, 4S 7 amps battery pack uh, com uh, com compared to this uh, LiPo battery. Uh, and what I'm going to do is to uh, put it, these two batteries on the load on my Q330 that I've just built. Uh, this one has um, DJ Phantom motors, 30 amp ESCs. And uh, show you how it works uh, on this display here. Um, if I connect the LiPo battery first, then we will see how it reads um, on the display here. Let's zoom in on this. What we are going to be taking a look at here is the reading here, which says amps. You can see it's 15.35 15, 15 volts. And this is the uh, amp reading that we are going to watch. So when I fire up the cord and, uh, and give full throttle, we will see how much uh, amp it draws from the LiPo battery. Okay. Here we go. amps at max max is uh, certainly not something that I'm going to be doing a lot with this one but um, uh, at least we know how much it pulls when we give full throttle uh, on this Q330 and now we connect the uh, lithium ion battery and see what happens and the question of course is can it deliver the same amount of uh, amp draw as can it can it draw the same amount of amp out of this battery as it could of the uh, LiPo battery okay let's go Twenty-seven, twenty-eight. There will be some difference in a lipo between a lipo battery and a lithium-ion battery, but of course, this one can deliver power over lo over longer time. It can deliver seven amps. This one is five amps. This can be it can be used all down to two point five volts. And one thing that I I have heard is that um, this battery actually does have a much longer uh, lifespan than the lipo batteries if you have used your bat your lipo batteries uh, you know that they don't last forever uh, but uh, as far as i know if you use this one right you can use them for like 10 years something like that so that's also something to take into consideration but of course what we're talking about now is how will it perform on my quadcopters can it really be used and the answer so far, uh, as I have learned, is yes, of course, they can be used. Uh, they deliver 20, almost 28 amps on this quad. That's uh, plenty. And um, so now the next thing to do is, uh, yeah, and I also can tell you that I have tried to hover it and uh, fly a little bit around. And I couldn't, uh, I couldn't uh, see any difference in, in power between the two packs. Um, actually, I, I thought I think that the uh, uh, lithium-ion batteries uh, was kind of made the quad a little bit smoother. I don't know. Maybe I just uh, got the impression of it, and that's not the case. But that how that's how I, I felt it was when I flew it. So uh, this will be very interesting. Um, keep on watching. I will do a test on my Tarot 650 with the two of these packs. And of course, we will get back to you on uh, on uh, flight uh, footage and uh, and see how it works uh, uh, out in the field. Thanks for watching. Bye.